What's up guys? It's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am filming in my new apartment. I am so excited. <laughs> but also today, I'm going to be trying on all of the makeup that I purchased from the most recent summer sale from Sephora. So I'm excited. There's so many things in here. I've been dying to just slather on my face, but I waited so you guys can see my very first impressions. So yeah, if you guys want to see me trying all of my new makeup, then just keep watching. By the way, if you haven't seen the haul of all of my new makeup, definitely go check out that video. I'm going to be suggesting that video up above and linking it down below as well. So let's get started. Oh, by the way, if you hear any weird noises or if like the lens is out of focus, I switched my lens to autofocus. So I'm just like testing it to see how well it does. If it does horrible, I'm just going to go back to how I was doing it before, but just I don't know. I just wanted to try something new since I'm in my new little studio. I'm so excited. Okay, let, let's just move on to the makeup. Oh, I also wanted to give you a little update on this Aquise towel that I purchased during the summer sale. Overall, I feel like the frizziness in my hair has gone down like a little bit, nothing crazy, but the smoothness in my hair is like beyond insane. Also, I just want to say it has cut the dry time of my hair down in half. Before, I would wrap my hair in like my normal towels, you know, while I was getting ready and then you know I take it down it was still dripping wet but when I wrap my hair in this towel my hair like parts of it are already dry there is no dripping whatsoever and literally it takes five minutes to blow dry my hair whereas before it was taking like 10 to 15 minutes to dry my hair so honestly this towel is a miracle worker because it is something that drives me insane waiting for my hair to dry I'm seriously considering purchasing another one <laughs> All right, now on to the makeup. I already prepped my skin by moisturizing it with my Junk Elephant Pertini Polypeptide Cream. I love that stuff so much. Now, let's start off with some primer. I did not get this from the sale, but we're gonna start off with some Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I've been using this a lot recently, like as an actual primer. Normally, I do it as a finishing spray, but we're gonna prime today. And then really quickly, I'm going to be putting on some Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation in the shade LN3. Then after this, we're going to move straight onto concealer, which I'm so excited about. Oh my goodness. So now that I have all of the foundation in place, I'm going to be using the First Aid Beauty Bendy Avocado Concealer. I purchased this in the shade number Fair 2. I'm really hoping I got the right shade of this. I'm usually on the fair side. Ooh. I mm, genuinely feel like this shade is literally just like matching my skin. It's not like brightening my skin. Oh, wait, maybe it's brightening it a little bit. It's like a very natural concealer. I like how that's going on though. It like blends beautifully into the skin. I'm also going to put a little bit on my eyelids as well. I feel like a little doesn't go the longest way, not going to lie. Normally it's the opposite, but... I will say this blends into my skin very nicely. I think the shade does suit me. I think I wanted something a little lighter. I'm gonna set everything really, really quick before it creases. I don't know if it creases, maybe it does. So I'm gonna go into my Fenty Lavender Powder right here. I love this for brightening up the under eye area. I'm gonna put this kind of like in a V shape, kind of like where people used to put concealer. <laughs> Like they just did like a sharp V, which is so insane. I also like to put a little bit down the center of my nose and then on my forehead as well. Then I can't forget the actual eyelids. I will say the concealer has like a, almost like a dewy natural finish. And I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Setting Powder. Using a sponge and really pressing this into the skin. Really quick, I'm gonna wipe off the foundation that is left on my lips. Then I'm gonna be trying the Bite Beauty Daytime Lip Balm right here. I just wanna use this to prep my lips. I still think the packaging is like literally the cutest ever. Oh, this smells like elephant ears or funnel cakes from like a fair. It makes me want one so much. My mouth is literally watering right now. <laughs> mm, it even tastes like it too. What the heck? It's so good. I like how it leaves like a little sheen to the lip, but nothing like crazy. Mm. Oh my gosh, I have fallen in love with this. So now I'm going to do some eyeshadow with my Natasha Denona palette. I did know that these were on sale during the summer sale and I was like, oh my goodness. I don't know about this one in particular. It's the Sunrise palette, but I know some of her like more expensive ones were and I was so tempted, but I didn't. I'm going to try to play around with this. I really want to wear this liquid lip from Dose of Colors and it is in the shade Bury Me. So I'm going to try to use this palette 
palette right here to kind of like match this first i think i'm actually going to dip into the morning shade i absolutely love this like soft yellow shade it's so beautiful and i'm just going to use this for my crease color now i definitely don't want to add too much yellow i definitely want to go into the glory and clove shades right here dip into the shade glory it's like this fun fuchsia color maybe i shouldn't have done an intense eye since i'm gonna do an intense lip but it's a little late for that right now <laughs> i think i want to tone it down so i'm just gonna take the same brush that i used for the morning shade and just really blend it out then i'm gonna dip into the clove shade on like a really small brush and just kind of put it in the very outer corner here and slowly blend it into the crease just a little bit then i kind of want to lighten things up i'm going to dip into the shade aster right here it's a gorgeous gorgeous purple glitter just gonna lightly tap that all over my eyelid oh so beautiful and i'm also gonna go into the shade laurel and a gate kind of mix them together and i'm just gonna put this in the inner corner of my eye I'm going to take a super teeny tiny brush and dip it into the clove shade and kind of like line my lower lash line. Then I'm going to just going to take the same brush that I used to apply the glory shade, not even apply any new powder, and just blend out the clove shade underneath. I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm just going to clean up the edges a little bit, blend them out a little more i feel like they're just a little too harsh next i'm gonna be applying some liquid liner i have not applied liquid liner in so long but i thought it'd be fun to try it out again i'm gonna be using my clinique pretty easy liquid eyeliner pen so we'll see how this goes Right, I think this is as good as it's gonna get with the liquid eyeliner. So next I'm gonna move on to bronzer. I'm just gonna use my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze Bronzer in the light shade. I'm gonna gently start kind of towards the back. I don't wanna go too crazy with the bronzer, mostly because my eyes are gonna be intense and then my lips are gonna be intense. Then I'm gonna be using the Jouer Blush Bouquet and I have the shade adore right here i just can't get over this packaging it is stunning i have the shade adore me and hold me these look so incredibly gorgeous i feel like both of them are super matte i'm just gonna dip into this one first i'll probably like combine them in a second but i just want to dip into one. Ooh, ooh, it's like a it's it's a little peachy but like on a rosy tone way <laughs> I'm in love. This blush is like everything I thought it would be. I'm gonna go ahead into the other shade right here and just kind of put that over top, which again, just as good as I thought it would be. I'm gonna put the excess kind of across my nose for that sunburnt look. I'm gonna take a little bit of the two shades and kind of add it to my eye look so that it blends together pretty nice. I'm just gonna kind of go little bit over the crease. I can see myself using this blush so much. Actually, I think I want to put on a little bit more bronzer now that I'm kind of looking at things over. Now you guys, I'm going to be going in to the Fenty Diamond Balm. Oh, it has been a minute since I swatched this. I, I can't. I just can't. I'm just going to like swatch it. It's like buttery and it has like a very like wet highlight. I'm going to do this really quick just on the back of my head. I hope you can see that on camera. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up, but it gives like a beautiful just glitter. I think first I'm going to put on some Fenty highlight first. I'm going to be using the shade Lightning Dust kind of like as a base for this because I feel like this isn't going to be like as much of a highlighter. And now Zippy Stay Resistance. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see the intensity? <gasps> this is just everything I ever wanted. <laughs> so pretty. I'm actually going to take a little bit on my finger and like put just a little bit on the center of the eyelid. I'm not sure how much it's going to like show up. I just want a little bit on the center of the eyelid just to like, add a little pop, you know? All right, I'm actually going to be trying out a new mascara as well. This I got as a sample a really long time ago, but I just haven't tried it yet. It is from Lancome. It is their high definition mascara. I'm actually really excited to try this because I love their CILS Booster XL Primer. It's so good. I'm really hoping that the mascara is just as good as the primer. Whoa, wand is like super long. Whoa. <gasps> 
Oh my goodness, it is lengthening my lashes like crazy. I don't think it's like volumizing my lashes, but it is like lengthening them like no other. I'm gonna like apply like maybe two more coats because I feel like I just want a little more volume but I don't want like clumpiness. I can definitely see myself wearing this mascara as long as it stays on the lashes and it doesn't like flake off or anything, but I will keep you guys posted on this because this mascara is gorgeous. And then for brows, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Signature Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown, my absolute favorite brow pencil ever. So I'm gonna just fill in my brows really, really quickly. And last but not least, gonna put on the dose of colors. Hopefully I didn't overdo my eyes for this, but we're gonna definitely find out. So, um, my lips are feeling great though. I really like that chapstick. Last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a little bit more of the primer water. Then I'm gonna set everything in with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So this is the finished look that I was able to create with all of my new makeup and paired it with some of my old makeup that I'm super excited to start wearing for fall. Overall, I honestly loved every single thing that I got from the Sephora sale. The only thing I think I'd do differently is get a slightly lighter shade of the concealer, but trust me, I will still use this concealer. I love how natural it looks and I feel like the Fenty lavender powder really helps brighten it up for like it's just really nice natural look. So I'm definitely going to be using it, but I might purchase another lighter one. All right, you guys. So this is the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really, really does help support my channel. And question of the video, hmm, what new makeup launch are you super, super excited for? I feel like there's just been so many. I've been really interested in like the Fenty launches, like their foundation. I believe they came out with a brow pencil too. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what new makeup launches are getting you so incredibly excited. Also, if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Amelia. <laughs> if you guys want to see more beauty tutorials and reviews and just fun videos like this, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button. This way you guys will get notified every Tuesday and Friday when I upload a brand new video. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you next time.